Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Week 8 Wrap-Up. I'm your commissioner here. This is the League of Collusion. This week's sponsor, a little bit of Starburst, packs a bunch of juice. We're going to hop right into the Week 8 Wrap-Up here. Going right into it. Highest score of the week, Team Phil's Auto. He's got, he's got some big... Uh, Big, uh, big monsters on his team. He's got Nick Chubb. He's got Derrick Henry. Um, when they perform, man, they perform. He's got a, and he's got his quarterback, Jalen Hurts. I mean, it's a three-headed monster. And between the three-headed monster, they had 28, 33, 24. I mean, I can't do that quick of math right now, but that's a lot. That's almost, it's almost 90 points. So we're looking at like 80 points between three players. I scored 88 points this week, so he might be with three players. Um, low score of the week. I'm going to take a couple of coffee for this one. He texted me. Big, long paragraph. I messed up, man. I messed up. Team Calvert. 87 points. He's like, I went and tinkered and snakered, sat on the toilet too long, messed with his lineup. I look back. The guy has 28 moves in the league. The next closest is 21 moves. Cal, just trust your team, all right? He got a good team. He's still in the top five. I think his team can perform, but he's just doing too much tinkering and stinkering right now. Um, but that's tough to see. Plays of the week. Team Phil's auto. Playing... Uh, Pollard, Tony Pollard, with 32 and a half points. I have Zeke, and Zeke's out on the bench, hurt. Gave me a whopping zero, and Pollard got a 32 and a half points. So, that's why Team Phil's auto scored 165. Unbelievable there. Um, not too many other plays of a week. Everybody else just had their, their players perform. Bad plays of the week. Starting off the cap. Team Calvert. He plays Burrow over Tua. Burrow got 13, Tua got 28. Um, just understand the Bengals on prime time. They're just not very good. They're just That's who they are. Andy Dalton started that trend years ago. But to go on to the next guy, uh, Dirty Mike and the boys. Don't know what happened with the Raiders, but the Raiders put up a, a whopping zero. Somebody played their kicker. Um. I played Devontae Adams, which I have to. He's number one, my number one overall draft pick. Um, and Dirty Michael Boys played Carr over Dak. And Carr had two points. Dak had 25. He wouldn't have won, but he still had a good week. He had 111 points. But team fills out at 165. Tough matchup there. Um, Booty Chase. Had the win. Played Evan McPherson, which I think we all would have. But McPherson gives him zero points and a five, five point deficit. So another tough loss, loss for Booty Chaser. It's just, just getting tough for you. We're gonna get into you here in a sec. But PBR, myself, Gabe Davis, four points. My team just scratched and clawed. I don't know what to do. If one week it looks good, the next week, just not so good. Um, so we're gonna get into Booty Chaser. He's two and six. His points throughout the eight weeks. 118, 118, 99, 97, 103, 116, 85, and 120. Five of the eight weeks, he's got 100 points or more. Now, let's go to the two top two, top two teams in the league. Team Mixon and Team Phil's up. Team Mixon has five of the eight weeks over 100. So... That's understandable. And the team fills out has four of the eight weeks over 100. Booty Chaser's third in points forced and second in points against. So, just a tough showing for him. He's two and six. The record doesn't show how good he is. I'm not putting him in last. I think he's miles ahead of Team Bud Light for sure. But the other two down in seventh and eighth. I just don't I just don't see those guys coming out of the bottom. The seven, eighth, and ninth, seven the eighth, ninth, and tenth teams. Just don't I don't see them making a jump 
into the playoffs. But if Booty Chaser wants to make the playoffs, he's got to win out the rest of the way. He's got to win four in a row to go six and six. And then we go into the playoffs. It's already We're already heading to week nine. And our playoffs start week 13. So you guys better be strapped in and ready to go. Heading into the power rankings. All right. At number one, staying at number one, Team Nixon, he's six and two. At number two, staying at number, or going up one, Team Phil's auto, he's a six and two. He's in the top two. Um, I just have Mixon ahead of him. Just I just think Mixon can stay steady overall. Team Phil's auto has the better uh, trio. But if that trio does not perform up to par or above par like they're normal, normally performing, then he crumbles. Um, but Team Mixon's pretty steady, Eddie. He's got some good players. Um, Team Calvert, he's going down one spot. He's at four and four. I trust in him. I think he's going to stay, stay, stay good here, stay at the course. Just got to stop tinkering and tinkering, buddy. Not, not so many moves every week. Um, team PBR, myself, at four and four, staying at number four. At number five, Team WFQ, staying at number five. He's four and four. At number six, going up a spot, Team Helton, he's at four and four. Um, hopefully, he, he might be breaking the top five this week. If three of the, if one of those teams take a loss this week. Um, in seven, Booty Chaser, cute him at seven. He's two and six, going down one spot. Just hard to get him that low. And in eighth, Dirty Mike and the boys, he's three and five. And in ninth, Team Gino, he's four and four. And in tenth, we love to see it. The two-time champion, back to back the last two years, Team Bud Light. Okay, so here's your power rankings, folks. I got them right here. That's your power rankings for week eight. We're heading to week nine. Trade deadline's coming up here soon. If anybody wants to send any more trades? Um, we had a couple trades. We had the we had the Team uh, Booty Chaser and Helton. They're switching teams this week. And then we had Dirty Mike and the boys and Team Gino with the steal of Kenneth Walker. So, I'm your commissioner. That's your week eight wrap-up. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Peace.